Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do my blending using fragrance oils from 1617.com, okay guys? So in here, I got all the samplers except this one. Uh, sampler number one, I have in here Mojave, I have Florencia, and I have Kylie 23. On the sampler number two, I have Lombard Street, Alastair, and Mayfield. On sampler number three, I have Le Jardin, Kathmandu, and Persephone, and on sample number four, I don't have uh, the small size, so this is the new oil, guys, Egomania called Green, You Wish, and Eternal, okay? So I have in here all these beautiful oils, guys. They are all great, and but I wanna show you how to make them even better. The goal in here is that, you know, I'm, I just wanna make something different uh, for my candle line, and I think all of you should do also, you know, I think, you should find your own like signature scent, you know, and the only way that you can accomplish that, guys, is by blending fragrance oils, okay? But there is a trick on that. So we're gonna get into that in a little bit. But in the meantime, let me just show you these beautiful vessels, guys. I'm gonna be using this vessel. This is the flawless glass, clear glass from 1617.com. And this one is handmade. Our new flawless is even thicker and absolutely, and absolutely crystal clear. The overall weight of this crowd pleaser is now over two ounces. This is heavy, guys. Okay, heavier due to the increased quality of the glass. Please note that the mid width is slightly narrower than our, pre uh, than our previous flawless. And this glass now com comfortably holds up to 10 ounces of wax. If you love our flawless glass, you will be thrilled with our new handmade designer version. Okay, guys? Beautiful. So I'm gonna be making the test candles using my new blends on these beautiful uh, glasses. Okay, guys? So I'm gonna be following 1617's recommendation on how to wick uh, this, this vessel, okay? They recommend to use either, either a double CDN number two, or if you wanna use a single wick, they recommend you to start wicking on CDN number five, or and or CDN number six, okay? Because of the fact that we are working with different uh, oils, you have to test each and every one of them separately because it's like a, every oil is a, it's a brand new candle, okay? So you have to use different uh, configurations, and for that, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be using wickless candles, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna make the candle halfway, okay? I don't wanna waste wax, you know. Ah, uh, so what I'm gonna do is. This holds 10 ounces of wax, so instead of putting the whole candle, I'm just gonna add five ounces, okay? And they're gonna be all weakless with the new blending magic potions, okay, guys? So let me just I get everything set up and I'll be right back. Yes! Hi, guys, welcome back. So, what I did is I, I made a uh, set strips and I put it right in front of the different fragrance oils. Uh, in the meantime, let me just move this out of the side because I'm gonna be using the candles later on. Okay guys, so let's start with Mojave. The fragrance family is Woodsy and Arid. The top notes, Geranium, Pomelo. Uh, the middle notes, Pink Pepper. And the base notes, Palo Santo. Okay, this is very strong guys. This makes quite an impact. This is uh, very masculine also. Uh, so if you want to mix it with something else, you have to be very careful because uh, this is very, very strong. So it has to be something that is uh, milder, so it will complement uh, this this fragrance oil. Okay, so let's put it back in here. Okay, the next one, you know, guys, not not everyone's gonna like all these scents. Okay, we all we are all different, so you have to find what you really love and then make it even better. You know, you see why, guys? I have this paper in here. Look, because it's kind of messy. You know, when you deal with fragrance oils, it's very uh, very messy. Okay, so this one is Florencia. So let me. With the information about Florencia, meaning to bloom in Spanish, Florencia also connotes prosperity and is to flourish. A modern white floral bouquet with a warm and addictive finish is rounded with basic no with base notes of tongue and vanilla and dark narcissus. Uh, the family is floral. The top note, Bulgarian rose. My God, this, the Bulgarian rose is one of my favorite flowers, guys. It's so sophisticated. Uh, the middle note is white orchid. And the base note is the Tonga Manila. Of course, Tonga Manila is like having like a like a crust on a pie. It brings everything together, everything sits right on top. Beautiful, okay. The next one. The next one is Kai 23. 
As you know, this is my favorite scent from 1617, maybe because it was the first one, you know, so you, you kind of like, uh, uh, remember that, you know, it's like when you, fall, uh, when you fall in love for the first time, you know, you always remember that first love. Okay, so let me read to you about K23 for all those people that have not read about it. If you go to 1617.com, guys, you're going to get all this information. K23, Sultry Havana. Nice. Oh, my God. Conjure illicit passion in our most sensual fragrance. Yeah, this is very, this is pure sex, guys. Dark and seductive rum balances perfectly and woodsy patchouli and erotic peach in K23. Beautiful, guys. The fragrance family is fruity and woodsy. The top notes, Eldorado peach, Eldorado peach, and the middle note, dark patchouli, and the base note is dark rum. <sighs> Goodness, pure passion. Okay. That one also, you need to uh, be careful, and you have to find something that really likes, it's not strong. You have to, because you want, you want the sultriness, you want the, the sensuality to really shine through. Okay. The next one is Lombard Street. Lumber Street, guys. <sighs> Truly unique. <sighs> My goodness. A well rounded and slightly flu a fruity floral Lumber Street boasts notes of damask rose, <sighs> green stems, intoxicating black currant, and soft musk. A nod to the famous tree line, rose tree line in the hometown of San Francisco. Lombard Street is fantastically unique. Uh, the fragrance family is floral. The top note is the Massina rose. The middle note is black currant, and the base note is musk. <sighs> Beautiful. This is going to be perfect to be mixing with another oil that I'm going to show you in a little bit. Okay. The next one is Alastair. This somebody's. A lot of people love Alastair. You know, it's because it's masculine. You know, so it's. Unique. Unique. Okay, here we go. This is so extravagant, so also sexy. But it, it has, um, it's more woodsy. So it's not really a floral floral. It's, it's, that's why it's masculine, okay? Evoking classical, classic Hollywood glamour and prestige, Alastair is exceptionally distinguished. Abundantly verdant notes of cypress, Mingled with inviting tobacco leaf, a sensuous finish of sandalwood and ambergris, ran out this masculine, this masculine fragrance. Oh my god. Amazing. Now I can see why everybody loves it, you know? Okay, the next one is Mayfield. This is one of my favorite guys. Um, it's truly unique. It's one of the few Lavenders that I love. Guys, if you hear noise, I have the windows open because it's kind of muggy in here. Okay, Mayfield. Let me just clean my nose. Bright yet sultry, Mayfield is a most unique rendition of lavender forward perfumery. Oh my goodness, yes. Fresh English lavender dances with vivid mild lemon interwined with Tahitian vanilla to create the rarest of fragrances, yes. This makes very uh, very exotic, guys. Very energetic, very very clean, and very purif purifying. This is great as aromatherapy. Excellent. It's like I'm so impressed, guys. All these oils are so unique. You know, it's they have their own charm. Okay, this one Le Jardin, which is one of my favorites, also because it's it's a beautiful floral. Here we go. Truly a garden of joy. Oh, goodness. This takes me back when I went to a Versailles. The Jordan fuses delicate tea rose and exotic cherry blossom with bright green basil for a graceful verdant floral. Feminine and botanical, this recherche fragrance is an uncommon as it is unique. It's very truly unique, guys. This also reminds me, you know, here in Portland we have a, a rose garden, and this reminds me too when I walk through the gardens too. Ah, it takes me back there. Fragrance family is floral and green. Top note, tea rose, 
medium note sweet grass and cherry blossom, ba uh, base note basil and black tea. Amazing, truly amazing, guys. If you like floor, this is a must have. Next one is Kamandu. This is also one of my favorite, guys. I like to do this first so I, I get an idea on how they all smell, you know? And then I'm gonna come back because I'm gonna take a break because these are way too many oils. I'm gonna take a break, smell, uh, clean my nostril, my nose, and I'll be right back, okay? So this one, Kamandu. Oh my God, spicy cedar top notes mingled with sandalwood and heady amber, creating a div divinely grounding fragrance. The other, the other cedar, cedar not native of the, uh, to the Himalayas, means wood of the gods. <sighs> this is very spiritual, guys. In Sanskrit, and it is thought to possess healing qualities, enchanting and calming. Kathmandu is arboreous earthy and luxurious. Fragrance family is earthy and woody. Top note Malabar, and, uh, Malabar pepper and cedar. Middle note sandalwood. And the base note is Baltic amber. It's very deep, very... Uh, it tells the story of mystery of uh, the Himalayans, you know, it's... It's very spiritual, you know, it's, you know, when you when you do uh, when you chant the people use incense you know when you're chanting you know that Tina Turner she chants a lot you know and that's this is the the base of that okay beautiful okay the next one is Persephone it's clean green and fresh Persephone is the first spring morning following a long cold winter okay bright and crisp absolutely like fresh linens on the line. Persephone exhibits top notes of orange and cherry blossom, key lime and clean cotton, complemented by mid notes of plum and pomegranate, followed by best notes of bamboo and beechwood, a joyous and delightful fragrance to highlight your inner goddess or oh god. Um, this is not floral, this is uh, fresh, okay? But to me, it's floral. To me, fresh and floral is like, they go hand by hand, you know? Top notes, orange blossom, key lime, and cotton. Middle notes, plum, pomegranate, and base notes, bamboo and beechwood, okay? Beautiful, so unique. I think this is perfect for spring and summer. Amazing. You know, when you open the windows in spring and you just let the fresh air in and it goes through the whole house. Beautiful, okay, the next one is You Wish. Okay, You Wish is very special for me, guys. Um, when I, guys, remember when I reviewed this scent back a couple of videos ago? Uh, this is when I discovered, okay, let me just read you the, uh, the information of this first. With uh, You Wish is a sophisticated and sultry fragrance, exclusive to 1617, seductive and smoldering. Our ultra feminine and intense You Wish both notes of Arabian Jasmine, Gabonum, Labdanum and vanilla. This dark, humid floral is provocative, exotic, and unique. The fragrance family is Oriental floral. Top note, Arabian jasmine. Middle note, galbanum. Base note, labdanum and vanilla. Okay, guys, do you remember? Uh, after I read the information and I was reading, like, uh, smell you wish, uh, this is the first scent that I smell from this whole line, uh, that even though it's described as an ultra feminine, it's also masculine. I get chills, guys, because this, to me, is a gender fluid scent. Okay, this this is the uh, this is the scent that I uh, that is just blew my mind uh, because to me it's gender fluid. Okay, and that's uh, my kind of line is going to be gender fluid, like I told you on my on my live stream, guys. Uh, but this is the one that really like push it. this is uh top of the line for me this is like this is the fragrance that really make me cement and stone that my candle line candle romance is gonna be gender fluid this is the fragrance that did it for me beautiful beautiful it's amazing you wish okay 
Yeah, guys, it's going to be gender fluid. You know, I'm working really hard. You know, um, I'm very confident that the candle line is going to be a success. You know, I'm working on, on the labels. I'm working on the boxes. And you know, I'll keep you updated as the progress goes, okay? This one is eternal. This one is also truly unique for me. Okay, rich magnolia blossom and sultry jasmine dance with notes of frangipiani in this eternally sensuous fragrance from 1617. Anchoring notes of tobacco, leaf, vetiver, and dark vanilla run out this exotic treasure. The fragrance family is oriental floral. God. Top notes magnolia blossom. The magnolia is very like in here, you know, it's, it's so peaceful, so. Uh, invigorating, so uh, inspiring. And the middle notes, frangipani, 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 which is plumeria, and jasmine, and the base notes, tobacco and vanilla. Again, this blends, it surrounds everything with tobacco and the vanilla, and this is truly unique. Okay, so I'm leaving the newest one to the end. Egomaniacal green. Uh, it's a new scent from 1617, guys. Uh, when I first smelled it, I was not too crazy about it. But you know what, guys? It's just as you read the ingredients and, and as you get as you get educated more on the ingredient on the notes, you you kind of understand why it smells the way it does. It is truly special, guys. This is something different that I've never smelled before. Um, I'm not that crazy about uh, green uh, green fragrances, you know, uh, but. Miss Mel, Miss Mel, so I can give you my inspiration, my inspiration, my inspiration. You know, it's at the beginning, it's maybe like strong, but it's not really. You know, you close your eyes and you smell. You know what it is, guys? It smells like rain. After it stops raining, and you, and you open the window and you smell that ozonic uh, vibe. You know, and it's like. When dry land hits rain, when 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 the rain hits the line, uh, the ground, and it stops raining, you see that it's, it's like a chemical reaction that's ozone. Okay, uh, the fragrance family is green and fresh. Top note calamus. Calamus is a root from India. The middle note ozone, and the base note is petrichor. Okay, let me say this extremely unique fragrance boasts notes of calamus, ozone, and petrichor. A complex blend of fresh, clean, and bright green grasses mingled with ozone and earth, like the aroma of the first rain after a long hot summer. Egomaniacal green is out is our freshest and greenest fragrance yet. Yes, this is the bomb, guys. You know why? Because this, I get the shields, guy. This is perfect to blend with almost all of these. Okay, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you my favorite combination to use with brand new scents. And I'm telling you, you're gonna remember me, okay? Because I'm gonna be making beautiful blends using these beautiful oils for 1617. So let me just uh, put this back. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go outside, clean my nostril because it's a very humble one with a different fragrance. And I'll be right back, okay, guys? Yes! Okay, guys, we'll come back. Yes! The moment of truth, guys. Okay, let me just put it back. Wow, let me just have some water. <sighs> Took a break. I'm going for five minutes. I clean up my nose. Because you have to just get out and just take a no, fresh air. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's do this. Yes! Okay. So, the first oil that I want to try to mix with something else to see if it works is Mojave. Okay, Mojave, I told you, this is very strong, guys, so you have to be very careful. Hold on, let me just take the strip. Very strong. So, you have to find something that is not as strong as this because you don't want the two oils competing with each other. Let me see if I... Okay, everything is looking good. You don't want two oils competing with each other, guys, so... I'm going to try eternal it doesn't go it's eternal is too uh, it's too soft to mix with Mojave uh, let me try Florencia the only way you're gonna be able to tell guys is just you know just putting the two uh, sensitive together and see how no what you feel okay 
Okay, this could work, uh, but it would make a very strong candle. I don't think people really appreciate this because these are too, also uh, too strong. So for the next thing I'm gonna put back down, I'm not gonna try Kai 23. Again, uh, Mojave is too overpowering. I think uh, Mojave is gonna have to be uh, by itself. Uh, it's too overpowering. It's, uh, it, it has to be, it's telling me that he doesn't wanna be mixed with anything else. So I respect that, okay? Remember, fragrance oils also can give you attitude. And this one, don't mix me with anything else. I am strong enough for me, okay? I respect that. Perfect. Let's put number. Okay, let's see Florencia. Oh, my goodness. So I'm looking at the fragrance family. This is floral, okay? Uh, let me see how this and Lombard Street mix. Remember, these are two roses. Uh, it's too much. It's too much. Uh, I think even if I add a little bit of a Lombo Street to Florencia, I think Florencia is another one of those uh, florals that it doesn't want to be mixed with anything else. But you know what? I'm just playing with these guys. We may come back and we may try to, we may try to, uh, <clears throat> to blend up with something else, okay? So we're not done yet. I'm just telling you, this is the beginning of the blending, guys. You have to, you have to combine different strips and see what, which one you prefer. Okay, Calle 23. This one, the only one that I think that I, you could mix really well with this one is Kathmandu. Why? Because they have two uh, seductive scents, so they can complement each other, okay? Let's see. Calle, Calle 23 and Kathmandu. This is a mix that you have to make. Okay. And number one is going to be Kai 23 and Kathmandu. Okay, another thing you have to think about is about ratios. Which one do you want to be the predominant one? Do you want Kai 23 to be the predominant one? In that case, if I want Kai 23 to be the stronger one, then I do 3 to 1. Okay? In this case, because I love the way that complement each other so well, I'm gonna do one to one, okay? Beautiful. One to one. Perfect. That's gonna be kind of number one. Okay, let me skip. Let's keep blending. Okay, number three. Number three, we tried with, with the uh, Florencia, it didn't work, okay? Number three also has some green, let me see. You have to look at the different, uh, also, notes. So Lombard Street also has notes of Damask Rose, uh, Damask Rose, Green Terms, okay? Black Current and Top Mosque. Okay, this, I could see mixing with Egomaniacal Green. Let me just see. Why? Because they have one point in common is like they, they both are green, okay? They both, they both have green on them, okay? So if I take Lumber Street and Egomaniacal Green, put them together, let's see what I get. This is truly a dream come true. My goodness. Okay. This is telling me to go with this. Okay, oh my God. This is why I love this so much because it complements the other ones. But this, I'm gonna do a ratio. It's gonna be three parts Lumber Street, one part Egomaniacal Green. Why? Because Lumber Street also has some green on it and I don't want to have the, uh, the green to be uh, the main note. I want the rose, the floral uh, aspect of this, to shine through. But by adding the Egomaniacal Green, it's gonna give me more ozonic, more like, more spiritual, okay? More, I don't know, more, more freshness, okay? So, can number two, it's gonna be three parts, okay? Lumber Street plus Egeomaniacal Green, okay? Three to one, okay? Perfect. This is what I told you that I, this one's gonna be epic. That one, it's gonna be epic, guys. 
Okay, let's try out there. Oh my goodness. Alastair is very strong, guys. I think this is going to be very hard to, uh, to mix. Okay. Let me see how this goes with Lumber Speed. Okay, guys. I just discovered that number three. This has turned out there. It's masculine. Number three is floral. Okay, but by bringing these two together, guys, I just created a gender fluid combination. Oh my god. And this has to be equal parts. Alas there. Oh my god. One to one. Beautiful. You see what I tell you when I say gender fluid, guys? That's my line. Because I discover how to make take one thing, it's masculine, and that I touch something feminine, whatever it is, and just mingle together and have the have them like marry each other, you know, I just break break uh, break the barrier, you know, just me, me, get the fluidity going between the two of them, okay? So it's not masculine, it's not feminine, it's it's neutral, beautiful, okay? Mayfield. Mayfield, I think it's gonna go great with egomaniacal green also. <sighs> They're both clean scents. Clean meaning refreshing, invigorating. I don't have to look anything else. Oh my god, beautiful. And this I want Mayfield to be the dominant one. So it's gonna be Mayfield plus Ego Maniaco three to one. Again, I want the lavender to be the strongest one and the Meyer, the Meyer lemon too and have the background of the beautiful ozonic and pet shore and the beautiful grass, you know, it's it's amazing combination. Beautiful. Okay, I told you about this one. It's the bomb. Okay, no, can kind of number five. Let's try layer down. Okay, guys. It's, a, it's amazing, guys. I don't think I'm gonna mix it with any of these in here. I think it goes from here to there. I think Ledger Dan, Kathmandu. Oh my God. Can't remember but I get so excited, guys. When I do, when I find something that touches my soul, one to one, it's just, I, I just thank God, you know, it's, it's so beautiful, the combination, guys. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Kathmandu is also, Kathmandu and, and Egomaniacal, it's, it's amazing. Wow, okay. Candle number six. Let me just clean, let me just have a sip of water. You see how excited I get? It's that like you, you take a masterpiece and you blend it with another masterpiece and you get greatness. Greatness. Okay, Kathmandu, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Persephone. Next one. Oh my God. I said before that it was a floral, but it's not a floral. It's really like more like a fresh scent, you know? and. I get, I love the citrus when you first smell it, you know, the orange blossom and the key lime and the, and the cotton notes. This, I'm not gonna try with Egomaniacal because I think uh, this by itself could use some type of flower. Uh, 
Let me try with uh, et Eternal. Let me try this too, just for the hell of it. Persephone, Eternal. Another bomb. They like they they I put them together guys. You know what I what I get when I close my eyes? I feel like they're hugging each other. They're hugging each other. It's beautiful, it's magical. And number six. Oh my god. Equal parts, one to one. This is a masterpiece. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, kind of number seven. Okay. I'm so excited guys because I'm making I'm discovering new it's like new territory, discovering new amazing things, you know, discovering new like tastes, smells. Oh my god. I don't know how to explain it, okay? It's it gets me so excited. Okay, you wish. Oh, oh my goodness, you wish sophisticated and salty for again. Okay, oriental floral. Okay, let me try it with Florencia. Beautiful floral. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Okay. Uh, the fragrance family for Florence is floral. The top note is Bulgarian rose. So the, the top note Bulgarian rose, and the top note of Arabian uh, Arab, uh, Arabian jasmine. The rose and jasmine together. Wow. Middle notes white orchid. Middle notes galbanum. The deepest is more. So it gives. It takes the uh, it takes the white orchid and gives it another dimension. Uh, the lavender and the vanilla also at the end again is making a cross. Uh, this is going to be kind of number seven. This is truly magical, guys, and it's going to be equal parts. Uh, it's going to be you wish. Wow, plus Florencia. One to one. I think it's going to be a, ma a magical floral. Wow. Wow, 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 and candle number eight is going to be, okay, I'm going to take a human ego maniacal. Ego maniacal I already have with uh, Lumber Street. And I also have it with Mayfield. Okay, let me see if I take ego maniacal and eternal. And let's see what happens. It's magic. This is taking me to an enchanted forest. In a rainy, in a, in a, you're, you're running through an enchanted forest and you fall in love with someone. Again, you wish. It's gender fluid, masculine and feminine to me. This, the agomaniacal green, it gives it another dimension. Uh, it kicks it out 10 notches. I don't know what else to say. Oh my goodness. Equal parts. Oh my God. Eternal. One to one. Okay guys. I don't to need to take a break. I just need to uh, meditate because I just made magic. I just made magic, guys. Oh my God. Okay, guys, let me take a break. Let me just put this aside and I'll be right back. Wow. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I hope you like this new angle that I'm having in here. So I did numbers on how to figure out if I'm gonna be using five ounces of wax, uh, how much fragrance oil do I need? 
So I did all my calculations, guys, and these are the, the results are that for the candles that are equal parts, I'm going to be needing 0 0.25 ounces of each fragrance oil. That combined will give me 0 0.5 ounces of uh, fragrance oil for each of the candles. If I have uh, 3 to 1, for example, for candle number 2, I'm going to be needing 0 0.375 ounces of number 3 and 0 0.125 of egomaniacal green, okay? That's for the 3 to 1 uh, ratios, okay? So I only have two ratios. I have 1 to 1 and I have 3 to 1, okay? So let's do this right now. I have in here my trusty scale. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so the first candle is going to be candle number 1. I have it in my notes. And I wrote each candle on a separate candle test sheet, okay? So I can have this forever, okay? So this one is going to be Kaya 23 and Kathmandu is going to be equal parts, okay? So let me just get them, okay, equal parts. And for this, I'm going to be using packets because these are, these are very small amounts. You have to really be very careful, guys. This is why it's good to do small candles, guys, because you only have... Uh, when you get these samplers, you only get one ounce. So, you know, that's why it's, it's good to do small candles for this, so, it's for, so you can test. And also have a scale, a good scale, that you can really be very accurate. Next time, and throw it away because you don't want to contaminate the oil. Get hair, and then the same 0 0.25 of Kathmandu. Guys, I'm going to. Uh, speed this, speed this up because you don't need to watch it. You know me measuring this. Clean this up. I'm gonna bring the Presto pot in here, and we're gonna start making the candles. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm ready to make the candles. I have the Presto pot. It's uh, almost 200. Let's see what, how warm it is. It's 207, so I'm using Solbilis wax, so I like to, be, to make it really hot. And what I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm only going to be using two of these pouring pitchers, okay? Two small ones, because all I need is 4.5 ounces of wax, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the wax from the press in one, and then transfer it to the other one, and I'm going to be uh, mixing the oils in this one, okay? And every time that I do make one candle, I'm just going to take alcohol and a paper towel and I clean it up. This way, I don't have to clean up pouring pots, okay? So let's start. Okay, let me just put this in here because this is the one that I'm going to be putting the fragrance oils. Okay, it's 206. I'm going to make it a little bit hotter. The reason why I make it hot, guys, is because by the time you transfer it to these pictures, it goes down very fast and you don't want to do that, okay? You want to make sure that you have a very high temperature so the oil and the wax blends. That's why, you know, it's, it's good to be higher, you know? I'm going to wait until it goes to 210 to start pouring. And I'm having him a scale. Okay, 4.5, here we go. 196, it's good enough. Okay, so I'm gonna start mixing the oils with this. Okay, I messed up, you see? I should have used this one to pour, I, I should have, anyway, I'll do it with the next one. Okay, so let's, let's see what the temperature is in here right now. Okay, let's do it. You see, it needs to be hotter. Okay, let's pour. Come on, beautiful. Yes! Okay. Okay, guys. Let me clean up and I'll be right back. Yes! Hi, guys. We got to the channel. So let's do a quick recap of what we accomplished today. So on today's, on today's video, I wanted to show you uh, the four different samplers from 1617.com. Uh, yes, you can buy one ounce samplers, guys. They're all on sale, 20% off. So go to the website, 1617.com, and check them all out. So I have in here all four, okay? Except this one, this one, I have the, the big bottle. Um, so why not? Anyway, so the first sampler has Mojave, Florencia, and Calle 23. Sample number two has Lombard Street, Alastair and Mayfield. Sample number three has Le Jardin, Kamandu, Persephone. And number four has Ego Maniacal Green and You Wish 
and eternal. Okay, guys? So these are beautiful masterpieces, guys. And like I told you during the video, when you take two masterpieces and you blend them into one, you have greatness, okay? Yes! Yes! And you know, guys, this is a this is a great way for you to really experiment and see how beautiful these designer oils are, you know? Just just buy the uh, the small one out sampler, guys, and so you can experiment, okay? And I'm telling you guys, I promise you, you, you are not gonna be disappointed. Especially with this one in here, Igomaniaco, guys. It's so versatile. You can do so many blends with this. You know, it's it's a bomb, like I said, okay? So I made these eight different candles using different blends that I, that, I, that you saw already, and I'm letting them solidify, guys, because I'm gonna be conducting wig testing off camera. I'm gonna be following the wig recommendations from 1617. Uh, if I, when I do a, uh, a double wig, I'm gonna be using, they recommend to start using for double wigging, CDN double, so two CDN number twos, okay? That, that is if you wanna do double wigging, if you wanna do Single weekend, they recommend you to start doing a single week using CDN number five and CDN number six. Okay, remember every every candle is different, every oil is different, so uh, uh, they're gonna burn, burn differently. So you have to really do your testing for every time that, uh, a new formulation, okay, a new blend. So okay, guys, so I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. I'm gonna give you the results of the week testing on my next live stream on June 5th, Sunday, no, Sunday, June 5th at 12 noon Pacific time, okay guys? So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, learned something new from me. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share my content with all your friends and family, okay guys? So until the next video, I'll see you Sunday. Take care, bye. Yes! Yes!